This is Dr. Holt. I want to go over basically the approach of what to do when you have an object on an inclined plane. Here I have an object. It's a 5 kilogram object just on a 40 degree plane and we want to determine what the acceleration is going to be of this object down this inclined plane. Um, I have most of this worked. I just want to show you the procedure. What I'm going to recommend first is you create yourself a, another axis system and what I like to do is I usually create one that's going up like this, come back up this way, and I usually create another one going back up this way. And I usually just label this one as X and this one as Y. Okay, when I do that, I would like for you to go ahead and take the 5 kilogram and show it coming down. So I got 5 times 9.8 coming down. That gives me 49 newtons. Now break it, this one, into its components. And I'll change these colors. So you're going to break it into this component here. We'll make that blue, and you're going to break it into this component, and we'll make that one purple or something like that. So you're going to have two components. Now the thing to note, this angle right here is going to be 40 degrees, right here. If you get confused about that and you don't know what to do on that, just come back and draw yourself a line from here straight down. And now I'll slide this over. If this angle right here is 40 degrees here, this angle here would have to be, oops, give me a pen. This angle here would have to be 50 degrees right here, because we know this is 90. Well, then what you can do is you can draw yourself a normal line coming back off from here. Now, if this angle here is 40 degrees, and you know this whole thing is 90, then this would have to be 40. Oops, things. Let me go back there. Mark this out. So that'd be 40 degrees there. Alright, so what I did here, I broke this into the components. I got 49 newtons coming down, I got the two components. This one would be 49 newtons times the cosine of this angle here. That is going to give me 37.536 newtons here. Here I have 49 newtons times the sine of 40, that gives me 31.5. Once you have that drawn, go ahead and draw yourself um, a free body diagram. And I'll come here, and I'm going to draw it in the orientation. So I have this coming down like this, all this one coming back up kind of like this. I'll have a force coming down like this. And that's all you have in this orientation. And then you can label this. This would be the 37.536 newtons. This would be your normal force. Yeah, that'd be, sorry, let's change that real quick. And that would be the same thing, 37.536. The only other force you're going to have is this one right here, which this one will be the 31.50. And again, this is where I have no um, friction taking place. Now at this point, I'm not sure what this line is, uh, you sum the forces in the x direction. Um, I didn't, I'm not going to solve the force in the y direction because I know these two bound south, I'm going to get zero. So when I sum the forces in the x direction, I got 31.5 coming down, so I make that negative. I set that equal to the mass, which this object, this mass happens to be 5 kilograms, as stated. So when I do that, just solve for your acceleration, and I get negative 6.3 meters a second squared going down, or as shown, 6.3 meters per second squared. That's all you have to do. Now, when you get problems where maybe you have um, more than one mass coming up, you have to consider this component right here in all situations. This component exists anytime you're on an inclined plane, so make sure you use consider that when you're applying this, maybe some other type of force to the object. All right, I hope that helps. It's a quick little video, but it's the basics of how to solve problems when you have an inclined plane.